Where's the chicken stew? You can add, add the shaki. Shaki will give you another level of flavor. Yeah? You mix with it. It's nice. Hi, welcome to Mama's Natural Kitchen. Yes, so today I'm going to prepare stew. Chicken stew. So, these are my ingredients. This is onion. Yeah? Onion here. Yeah? I have my spot bullet. Okay? And also, um, tomato. I'm using tea tomato this time. Okay? So I'm gonna use three of this thing to add to 400 grams each, and then this is the basic of my stew. I use garlic. The rest of the ingredients will follow here, yeah? and then this is uh, ginger here. I've seasoned my chicken with ginger, garlic, onion, and yeah, ginger, garlic, onion, and salt. Yeah, black pepper as well. So my chicken is on cook. I'm cooking the chicken. Okay, so I'll show you. So this is the basic ingredients as we are going. Everything you put, so you know uh, everything that I'm doing today, okay? I'll let you see. Just making chicken stew that you can eat with so many things, okay? All right. I'm going to add four fresh tomatoes here. Yeah? Normally, that's what I do. I always add fresh tomatoes in my cooking, okay? So I'm adding that to the tail ones and then blend it. Okay, I'm add my peppers here, okay? So I'm going to blend the water. Alright. Now I'm finished blending my tomato and pepper here. Now I'm pouring my tomato and pepper here, yeah? And my onions. I'm going to add garlic here. And it as well. So that will bring it out of flavor more of my onions okay so i'm going to let this cook until that is cooked then add the rest of it in. so now i'm cooking my meat here yeah this is the meat here the chicken and intestines okay this is hard chicken and intestine this is another flavor that i'm making all right and do that also i'm going to add this one here yeah? this is pepper onion garlic and um, salt here yeah? just like everyday pepper sauce that you make to make it your cake or whatever so i'm going to add that to my stew i always have some in my fridge i'm adding that to my stew yeah that also bring another flavor to this stew this is something i do all the time i always have some in my fridge whenever i'm making stew i just add it to it yeah and then make fresh one in my fridge okay yeah, this is another way, uh, everyday pepper that I blend in my fridge that I use for my kinky and stuff like that, yeah. This is onion, tomato, garlic, and then canned tomato, fresh tomato, garlic, and then sweet peppers, okay. So I'm going to blend everything. And it's called bonnet, pepper is called bonnet, okay. The pepper, it depends how you want your heat. So, it depends on your heat and then salt you, okay. So please, this is what I'm going to do now, alright. So I'm going to blend it and then pour in my bottle, leave it in my fridge whenever I need it and I use it, okay? Like I put the rest in my stew, so I'm going to make fresh one here. So it's finished here, yeah? I'm going to pour in my bottle here. And leave it in my fridge whenever I need it. I have so many on my channel, I, have, I think this is my fourth one or so. Yeah? Yeah, so now this is it, yeah? I'm going to come back, leave it in my fridge whenever I need I use it. Remember last time I make a sweet chili sauce here. Pour it in the bottle and then leave it in my fridge, okay? This is sweet chili sauce. The process is in the video. The video will come out soon so that you will know how I made this one too, okay? Put it, put it in your bottle, leave it in your fridge whenever you're making, you know, it's like dipping sauce. You use it for dip sauce or Spray anything that you want to use it for, even making charming and stuff like that. Charming video is coming as well, yeah. So that's when I made this one, okay. So, that's a little basic things that you do at home whenever you need it. You not know, always that you have to spend you know time, maybe sometimes you need emergency, you don't have it, and you want to cook something, you can make it yourself and then do it, okay. So, I'm gonna put everything back in my fridge when I need it. I use it, all right. Thank you. Yeah, I'm going to use my ripe plantain to make a cake. Yeah, as I always say, don't throw your ripe plantain away. Yeah, 
sometimes when it gets so soft and i don't have any recipe or menu that going on for the week i just peel everything freeze it whenever i need it then i use it. let me show you the one that I've already freeze here yeah? this is the one that this is the frozen one as you can see look yeah frozen one i have this one but i need it now so i cannot defrost this and then you know continue my cooking so make using this one and then leave this one in my freezer whenever i need it i just defrost it and then use it okay so it's something that you can do also all right so now i'm going to peel this peel this one and then use it for my cooking. Just chop it. If you don't have food processor, don't worry. You can use it. I bought you are here, the Ghana number one blender, or you can use any round bowl with your masha. Just use it and then you just mash everything, okay? And add your season. So, this is gonna go in my food processor, my mixer. Yeah, you can also do this in your food processor, not only. Okay. With the food processor, the same thing will work the same way. Or you have a Potorua Ghana number one blender that you same way. If you don't have do any of that, you just use your normal round bowl, use your masher, and then just use it, do it. Okay, it's not hard at all. So I'm gonna add my salt here. Look, not too much salt, please to your taste. As I always you know, say. I'm gonna add in black pepper, not too much, half a teaspoon of that. Okay. I'm gonna add one cup of oats here. I use flour or concon tea, cassava flour or plain flour, or I'm using oats for this one because it's good. Okay. Just add in things that make your food more healthy. You know, this one is one cup, yeah? Measurement cup, not drinking cup that I'm using. Alright this one oh, so i'm going to mix the whole thing and then fry it later you can either bake or fry okay i have my the one on my channel that I bake it in uh, muffin cups you can do that and then you can fry this also all right so, okay. so i'm going to blend it okay yeah so look at it here now this is filled oats here see how it looks like okay so i'm going to add half a cup of flour plain flour so all right and then mix the whole thing together yes yeah, so this is the, about the flour yeah use one cup measurement cup this one okay and then one cup uh oats one cup plain flour all right so now it's done. So I'm going to use my spatula to stir the whole thing. Because sometimes you finish and you see some uh, flour underneath your, your mixer, make mixing bowl. Okay. So I'm just so I want to show you here. Yeah, I'm using my spatula here. Use the whole thing properly. So this is what you're looking for, something like this, okay? And then taste and see how you like it. And then you, know, you can even leave the salt, but if you want, add a bit of salt. So now I'm done. I'll fry it later. I'm going to clean from the leave it in my fridge and then I'll fry it. All right? Thank you. Okay, so I'm going to fry my chicken, yeah? Oh, chicken is going to be I'm going to squeeze tomato paste in here. Yeah? Squeeze about two tablespoons, two full tablespoons of that. Okay? Tomato paste is already cooked, so I'm going to cook it in here. They cook it cooking before they put it in here. Yeah. Two more and I'm still cooking it a bit. Yeah? This is my herb for this stew, yeah? This is basil. 
Okay, that's the name. So we need to add about five nine two. You know, chicken and basil is always beautiful together. That's how our grandparents used to and mom used to use this Ghana when making chicken soup or chicken stew. We use basil. We call it akoko basil in our country. That's okay. So I'm going to use some to season my stew, alright? And the other seasoning of food. Okay? You can go my basil. Okay? okay. So we're going to take my stuff, you know, take me some wood, take me some wood, okay? So we're going to fry it up here. Let's fry it, but not too, too much like this. Put it in oil for it. Okay. So I'm going to break my nutmeg here, yeah? I'm going to use my everyday season. So this one first and then we we'll come, okay? So this is not my right here. So I'm going to grate some with this and then use it for my stew, okay? So yeah, it's done. See? Half of a tin of oil. Just use half because stew is not too much. So, so this is my everyday season. Here. I have my curry powder, black pepper, nutmeg here. And this one is seasoned that I made myself here. Yeah? Mama's chicken season. Okay. This one. I prepared this myself. So I'm gonna put some here. Not like that. That's about one full teaspoon and a half. Yeah. So I'm going to add uh, my chicken here, yeah? And then my shaki. Okay. Okay, and chicken stock. Mommy stock here. This one here. Yeah? This one, don't throw it out. Some of it, don't throw it out. It make your stew very nice. I need to stir this one and let it go for another five minutes or let's say ten. Yeah, then I'll come back. I'm going to add water, let's say half a cup of water to my chicken to cook through my chicken stock and everything. And it need to go in the stew to have a full flavor. Alright. I'll be right back. Yes, I'm delicious. Yes, I'm adding water here. Stir. And then you make country. Now you have your full flavor of chicken in your shoe. Alright. Yes, so now I'm adding my oyster sauce here. Oyster sauce is like to make adding prunes or something like that. It's a seafood. And you use it to make this sauce, okay? Nothing mm -hmm. mm -hmm. it's lovely. Give you another taste of yours. The food, okay. Mm -hmm. Now I'm gonna add my season here. Yeah? So this is the season that I showed you earlier. Mm -hmm. Stir everything. Yeah? It's still is mm -hmm. almost done. So. Two minutes and then mm -hmm. finish. Oh, the aroma here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. It's like an occasion. Yum. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so now I'm going to put this one. My cups here. This is the cups I'm going to use here. This one is my friend cups. Now the request has come for me to bake it. So I'm going to bake it. And I'll fry a few of them to see the ones. So I'm going to it instead of frying. I want to go for the healthy option. And the big one, the healthy, the healthy option. <laughs> Ooh. This is my muffin tray with the cups inside, okay? So I'm going to put my mix in. My plantain oats flour mix. Okay. In here. Like that. All right. It's a very simple. In fact, this is much easier. You don't have to even stand there, fry, fry with the heat and all that. Just put it in the oven. Go and sit somewhere and chill. Okay. 
here inside one full big one yeah i have this on my channel anyway one full tablespoon see this one the big big one seven tablespoon yeah not this one this is one the one we used to eat this is the seven one big one okay so and that. i'm going to fry a few for you to see yeah So now I'm going to bake here. Yeah? Done. I'm going to bake the whole thing. And then when it comes, I'll show you. Alright? Thank you. So I'm going to take that up here. Yeah? This one is the fry one. Okay? Very, very brown. So this is it. Okay? Finish frying. Yeah, I'm going to put salad together here. Yeah, I have my sweet potato here left, small one. I'm going to use it for salad. I have sweet pepper, yellow one, and I have tomato, onion, and this is parsley, and that's spinach. Okay, I'm gonna put them together and make salad. Every time I cook rice, I always like to add salad to the rice because you know rice, yeah, it's full of starch. So that's why I always do that. Oh, eat rice raw without salad, we need vegetable. Okay, so I'm going to dice this one cook it quick I'm not gonna peel it but the skin is good as well yeah so I'm going to dice it cook it halfway don't cook it fully once you still see crunch and then you know you use it for your salad okay so I'm gonna dice everything here and then use it for my quick salad all right so let me just dice onion first yeah so now I'm going to put my salad together here yeah, this is spinach and parsley yeah yeah so to pour it in my bowl here. This is good for me to so add that to it. Let's put it parsley together here. And then my onion, sweet pepper, onion, tomato. Okay. And I'm going to squeeze. Lemon juice. This is lemon juice. Squeeze half of it. Okay, that's it. And then I'm going to drizzle honey as well. Drizzle honey. On top, not too much. Just few. And then my sweet potato will come in. Okay. Okay. So this is my simple salad here. Very simple. So I'm going to take the time and garnish it properly. Just put it together. You can put parsley on top, sweet peppers, anything to decorate your lovely salad okay so my salad is done something that you can do also all right let me just cut this into two let's leave my lemon here okay very simple salad but very good okay this is something you can do so i'm going to put the food together for you to see that as well all right yeah, this is my mom's natural kitchen. Yeah, this afternoon I was preparing chicken stew, and then I prepare other stuff: rice, kakaku, salad, and then beans here. Yeah, this kakaku, these beans, I did not make it stew, just boil it like you know, apple salt and bike up, or we can and then make it. Yeah, because Ghana, Kumasi, this is how we eat kakaku. You can make beans stew, red oil, and wok, or plain like this. Yeah, so. This is the one I bake. This is the big one here. Okay. I bake some here. This is um the green open one for you to see how it looks like. Okay. This is oats and flour plantain. I can grow but I bake it. Yeah. This is a healthy option if you don't wanna fry it. Okay. So something that you can do. So I'm going to serve my food and to see how I'm going to serve this food. I've making a few on my channel before. 
I'm sure that you have seen me making something like that. Okay. So this is the food I'm prepared today. Yeah. I have my big acai pro, fry acai pro, rice stew, salad here, and a cook all beans as well. Yeah. This is the pepper that I'm prepared. This afternoon. So I'm going to serve it for you to see how we serve acai pro. Okay. So let me take one. And then you take one. Yeah. This is so crunchy because of oats. This oats are kept here. Yeah? Very, very nice. So crunchy. Take it too. Don't let it too much. And then stew on my rice here. Okay. Take one chicken. One chicken. Big beans. I can cook. I have more beans if you want, yeah? Because my plate is small, so I don't want to pack my plate so much. And then this one. This is my lovely salad, sweet potato salad. You can either bake your potato or boil it, okay? So this is it. Of my parsley, you know, fresh parsley. There's nothing like fresh parsley, it's so good. I just like it. Try it and eat it. Try it some, okay? So now it's my lovely salad here. Okay, so I have my little pepper on the beans. Yeah, this is my beautiful dish. Always try to eat more salad or more rice, okay. It's good for you it's not because you try to be any it's very good for you any vegetable salad leaves just put them together and then add with your rice or whatever serve with it okay so this is my lovely food you can see my chicken skin is the chicken stew you can add, add the shaki shaki will give you another level of flavor yeah you mix with it it's nice okay sometimes i try and mix different things because you know, it gives you different flavor and then you know how different type of food that you can make. And this is boy beans here as well, okay? Love it. Nice, well cooked beans here. Yeah, so this is it. Mama's natural kitchen. Okay? Try and make something like this. This is not, it's just simple. The things that you have in your cupboard or see the planting was so old, I just fry it, bake some rice is there, just put spinach and stuff together cook your chicken and then make your stew and then make your lovely food here yeah? so this is it thank you for watching my channel please subscribe like the people know about mama's natural kitchen okay mama delicious always give you lovely food all right my beautiful kitchen thank you